In these perilous times, see from current events how biblical prophecy is coming to pass in front of our eyes. You're watching In the Last Days, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. With Martin and Natalie Blackham, thank you to our friends and partners who make this program possible. Now, here's Martin and Natalie. Shalom, my friend. We are so happy to welcome you all over the world, in Europe, especially in England. And, but I know that now there is people going on the computers more and more, and you can go on Revelation TV just at the tip of your fingers. So this is wonderful. And we are welcoming you from here next to Jerusalem. And we have again our wonderful guest, Eliezer Ben Yehuda. His granddad, just for you to, to remember, was the Eliezer Ben Yehuda, who was the one who, he was the revivist of the Hebrew language. And he came in the land of Israel. He knew how important it was to be in the land. And he's done uh, amazing work. And now we have his grandson here, who is carrying the work, saying that the, world, the, the land of Israel is so important for the people of Israel and to come back here. And the Hebrew language is so, also, also amazing. And I wrote also a book, and the book was um, thank you, Eliezer, to, to read it and to endorse it. And Eliezer was saying how uh, it is nice to see a book done for the Christians. And this is the heart for me to see, to give it to the people, to, to, for you. I mean, I, I took the time. It took two years to do, to do this, um, this uh, book. And, and it's, but I've made it very small because it's not for experts. I was saying... Is for everybody. It just opens a tiny window. That's it. That's it. So thank you for being again it's here. It's my pleasure. And like we are touching the treasure of the Hebrew language. Indeed. And we really want to, con you know, if you want to contact us, if you want to write emails, if you want to contact Eliezer too, we'll put his email and you can contact him directly. We really want to have more and more dialogue between Christian Indeed. and Jewish people. And that God is doing something on the earth, and we are rediscovering, rediscovering the Hebrew uh, language and the Hebrew scriptures. And it's so important for us, and it makes our faith so strong and beautiful. And as you mentioned when I was here last, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in uh, the book of Tzfania, Zathania, Mm -hmm. It says that in the last days, mm -hmm. uh, the Lord is going to make it possible for everybody to understand by giving them a clear language. Mm -hmm. And of course, that clear language is the Hebrew language. And the Hebrew language is really a mysterious language because it speaks on different levels. Mm -hmm. It speaks on different levels. And uh, Hebrew, you know, one, of the, one of the secrets of the Hebrew language is that it is written without vowels. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, everybody knows the word shalom, and they know that shalom means peace. And they also know that shalom means hello, and they know that shalom means goodbye. And they do not know that the word shalom comes from the root of complete. Shalem? Shalem, mm -hmm. right. But at the same time, the word shalem with a uh, infinitive form, le, mm -hmm. actually means to reward. Le shalem means to reward or to pay, to give mm -hmm. remuneration, you see. So here, the same word which we use for peace, you see, and peace is its own reward. Very good. You see? Yeah. So... Another thing, you know, everybody knows the uh, uh, verse, Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim, you know. Uh, uh, Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim. Yes, but the words, uh -huh. what do the words say? Everybody says, seek ye the words, or, or uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, oh, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. But wait a minute, which word is pray? Is it Shalu? It's not Shalom and it's not Yerushalayim. Mm -hmm. Sha'alu, you see, comes from the word Sho'el, and Sho'el is ask. So he doesn't say pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because you know what? Prayer 
is not going to bring peace to Jerusalem. What will bring peace to Jerusalem? Action. Mm. Action. So, Sha'alu Shlom Yerushalayim means ah. seek. You see, it's a different kind of meaning of the word Sha'alu. It's an active it's a, thing. It's the active thing. The whole idea here is that there has to be action. Yes, you yes, see? yes, okay. yes. And that's what we get from the Hebrew again. You see, no, you, can't, you can't be passive. You can't sit at home and say, oh, really, Jerusalem should be... I agree, I agree. Okay, and all, <laughs> our, active. all, our, active. all our listeners and watchers yes. ought to do the same thing. Yes. They shouldn't yes. be satisfied yes. sitting at home and saying, oh, wonderful, I'm so glad that the Israelis are in control of Jerusalem because the Israelis Very good. Are, not, are not able to be in control of their lives, let alone of Jerusalem. The Lord is in control of Jerusalem, I believe. And the Lord has seen fit to return it to the children of Israel since 1967 and hopefully unto eternity. Amen. But this is what we talk about when we speak about the mystery of the Hebrew language. And part of that mystery also has to do with this strange thing that you speak about mm -hmm. in your book, the issue of the numerical value mm -hmm. of the Hebrew characters. And in Jewish studies, mm -hmm. there is a research method mm -hmm. to gain confirmation of some of the things that we learn mm -hmm. that comes to us from the numerical value. It's a god of math. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to take that and we're going to learn some of that right now with something that maybe you asked yourself throughout your life. And it is, what is the name of God? What's his name? Many people say Adonai. his name is Adonai. Adonai. Elohim. Or his name is Elohim, or his name is those four letters, Yud Hey Vav Hey, that sometimes are pronounced Jehovah and other times are pronounced Yahweh. Mm -hmm. None of it is the name of God. In fact, those of you who are students of the Hebrew Scriptures, of the Tanakh, Think back and tell me, do you remember anybody having the audacity to ask God, hey, by the way, what's your name, fella? Or she. Well, there was such a person. Moses. It was Moses. It was Moshe. Mm -hmm. When God said to Moshe, I want you to go down to Egypt and be my ambassador mm -hmm. and speak to Pharaoh and speak to the children of Israel and tell them, hello, fellas, I've come to bring you out of bondage. And they're going to say, you and who else? And the Pharaoh Messiah. is going to say, yeah. and Pharaoh is going to say, who sent you? What shall I tell them? And the Lord gives him an answer. And that is one of the mistranslations in English and in other languages. The Lord says in the text in the Hebrew, Eheye. Eheye. He says, my name is Eheye. And he says, tell them, Eheye Asher Eheye sent you. And we translate that, it's translated more often than not as I am. I am that I am sent you. But in Hebrew, it really is, I shall be that I shall be sent you. Yeah. And right there we have a question. And we ask, what do you mean? So how will be? How, you know, how will, be? will be. What about now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, the answer to that is, if I'm going to be, then obviously I am now. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're here together. I am now. And if I am now, it's because I have been before. 
So the past is history. The present mm -hmm. is fact. But the future, you don't know. That is what God is. God is the God of the future. And God in the Jewish tradition in the present reveals himself. Mm. In Judaism, the relationship of man and God is through revelation. You see, Moshe takes the children of Israel and brings them to Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. He takes them because they have a rendezvous. That's it. They have a meeting with yes. God. And he will tell them, eh, hey, yeah. he's telling them the future. And he said, because I'm, I'm reading my Bible slowly, slowly in mm -hmm. Hebrew now, and I discover, reading it slowly, that God spoke to Mo Moses before he went to them, saying, I'm going to reveal myself. When he had the, the, the bush, the revelation of God mm -hmm. at the bush, burning bush, the burning bush, he said, I'm going to bring back my people here for the revelation. And I never... For me, it wasn't the same before. Yes. And suddenly, because I was reading it slowly in Hebrew, and like because I start to understand more who God is, we, because of the Hebrew scriptures, because he's so precise in what he's doing. And sometimes, I don't know, in our Christian thing, it's been a bit like funny. And suddenly, so now he's on this mountain, he's speaking to him. He said, now you are going to do something, but you are coming back here. And for me, it was like, wow. So it's like... He knows how he's going to do. And what you say is like, yes. he knows the future. Yes. I mean, it's just but now, amazing. But now, the interesting thing that we want to teach today mm -hmm. deals with proving what we said mm -hmm. by the choice of the words. Mm -hmm. Because God spoke these words. This is a revelation from God. And so we look to the math and we want to see if the mathematical formula will follow mm -hmm. the words that were spoken. And so the word for the name for God mm -hmm. is Eheye, which mm -hmm. is Aleph, He, Yud, He. Mm -hmm. It's 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5, mm -hmm. which gives us 21. So we have to say that Eheye is 21. Mm -hmm. But then, in this study of the math of the Hebrew language, mm -hmm. we go on and we say, we don't want to have two numerals or three numerals. We always want to combine them until we have the lowest denominator. Mm -hmm. And so, 21 is 2 plus 1, mm -hmm. and 2 plus 1 is 3. You see? So, the name of God... Mm -hmm is the equivalent of the number three. Now, we look at that command that God gave to Moshe, mm -hmm. Eheye Asher Eheye, and what it says is, I shall be what I shall be. Like that, in a, in a very definitive way. Mm -hmm. And we say this definitive way, which is the asher, that, mm -hmm. it's like a mathematical sign. And the mathematical sign is times. It's the multiplication. So like do, when you God use it, do you use it in, like at school? No, no, it's, no. Okay. We use it's just the, like, okay. a, a dot just like they do or an X just like they do in English. Okay. But how, what see? do they say? What do they say? They say kaful. Kaful. Okay. You see? So Multiply. Okay. You see? Okay. So, no, this is, this is only in studying text. Okay. You see? But here we say, eheye asher eheye is 21 times 21. Mm -hmm. And 21 times 21 gives us a result of 400 and 41. Okay. 441. So, we keep that in mind, mm -hmm. and then we also can summarize 441, 4 plus 4 plus 1, mm -hmm. and it gives us 9. Mm -hmm. So, the final summary is 9. But now, we ask ourselves, why did he say, I am that I am? Why didn't he just say, I am? Or, Eh, yeah, rather, you know, I shall be that I shall be, yeah? So, 
we say there must be something to this I shall be that I shall be. And we say, what do we believe about this God? Mm -hmm. What do we believe about this God? He is the true God. He is the true God, mm -hmm. exactly. And the word for true or truth in Hebrew is the word emet. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there's a very interesting thing in Hebrew mm -hmm. concerning these two words that are the opposites of one another, the word truth and the word lie. The word truth is emet. The word for lie is sheker. Mm -hmm. So emet begins with aleph, just like the name of God. And then the second letter of it, mem, mm -hmm. is in the middle of, of the alphabet. The alphabet. Mm -hmm. And taf is the last letter. So the word emet is linearly across the whole line of the Hebrew alphabet. It's the beginning, it's the middle, and it's the end. It's solid. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but if you look at the letters, you see that the Aleph has two legs, mm -hmm. the Mem has a flat bottom, and the Taf has two legs, and the second leg has even a foot mm -hmm. yes. to keep it straight. You see? Now, the opposite of Emet is Sheker. Sheker is Shin Kuf Resh. Okay. It starts with Shin, which is not the end, but it's certainly not the beginning. It's one letter before the end. You see? It's not quite the end, but it's the letter before. And then the next letter is Kuf, which is two letters back. Mm -hmm. So from this one letter before the end, you jump two letters back to get the Shin, and then you go to the next letter forward to get oh, the Resh. The resh. Mm -hmm. You see? So Shin, Kuf, Resh is kind of like a pretzel. Zigzag. You see? Zigzag, whatever you want to call it. I, I like to call it a pretzel because usually when I teach small children, mm -hmm. I take a pretzel out and I tell them, you see, it's a pretzel. And then I take it into my mouth and I say, it's gone. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So that is the Sheker. Another interesting thing about the Sheker is the letter Shin has a kind of a circular bottom, mm -hmm. so it's unsteady. The letter Kuf has one leg. Yes, and the see? Resh. And it's very unsteady. And the Resh also has only one leg, so it's also unsteady. So all three letters mm -hmm. don't show any confidence. And that's the lie. Now we say Emet, mm -hmm. which is the truth which comes from God. What is its value? Aleph, one. one. Mem, 40. Resh, a uh, Tav, rather, 400. And so together it's 4, 4, 1, 441. The same as this function, 21 times 21. Eheye, Asher, Eheye. So mathematically. And the reduction mm -hmm. of 4, 4, 1. Here is the same as it was with a yeah, share a yeah, which is nine. Okay. And so we have this formula that says that a yeah, the name of God, has the one value, a nine, a three. Three, three, yeah. Three, and then the emet, emet, that which comes from God, truth, has the value of nine. And the relationship between three and nine is that three is the square root. The root of nine is three. The simple root, just the square mm -hmm. root. You see? So that yeah. gives us the mathematical proof that this truly is the name of God, that this truly is the fruit of God. So this is God a, some is the God of truth. That's it. The, now, it, sorry, I just want to, to speak again uh, again to our uh, viewers, and this is quite interesting because I was speaking with my children, and they say, "Wow, we're doing math," and it's like God is a God of order, and and He's using math 
to show things to That's of who he is and nothing is is um bancal in french like like you say emet is standing straight mm -hmm. and false falsehood doesn't stand That's but correct. he does mm -hmm. so this is just amazing mm -hmm. again to see you see everything is so important yes sorry carry Indeed. on carry on well i wanted to point out that uh we were talking before mm -hmm. last time that we met mm -hmm. we were talking about the letters of the alphabet and i told you that or oh, maybe it was yeah it was the last time i told you about the fact that the story of creation yes is written with 21 letters and between sessions you asked me why are there 22 letters in the hebrew alphabet mm -hmm. well there is a story about that too. Mm -hmm. And the story Tell us, is Tell us. and the story is that again it is going to prove to us the truth of God. And so we say the letters of the Hebrew alphabet begin with Aleph which is the word for El which means God. It's also the word for Ehye which is the name of God. So the letter Aleph is the Creator. letter the letter of faith. Mm -hmm. of God, of, mm -hmm. of truth, of everything yeah, like that, you see. And so we say, how do we know that God speaks the truth mm -hmm. by numbers? Mm -hmm. Because Aleph is the letter of God. Mm -hmm. And then we can take the second, third, and fourth letter, mm -hmm. letters, which will be two, three, and four, mm -hmm. and two plus three plus four. Two plus three plus four is six nine. Wait, nine thank you <laughs> nine and nine is the sum of emet mm -hmm. but now we're going to take the fourth fifth and sixth letter mm -hmm. which is going to be hey vav and zayin yes and five be, six and seven it is how be, much uh, wait, because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be 18 18 thank you and 18 <laughs> plus and, and eight plus one is how much? Eight plus one is nine. Nine, bingo. <laughs> you see, now we take the next three letters. Yes. Yes? Okay, Which so will it be? will be? Chet, tet, yud. yud. Chet is eight, tet is nine, yud is 10. Together? 27. 22. Oh, oh 27. 27. 27. <laughs> Two and seven is nine. And if you go on, Every other three letters, you're going to come up with nine. And what are you going to have at the end? Nothing. Because it's 21 letters. Oh, okay. 21 letters is seven times... Seven. No, seven times three. 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 Right? <laughs> there you go. You see, so there's 21 letters. It makes... All of them are combinations of three letters... And we have, we're done with the Hebrew alphabet, you see? Mm. The Aleph is for God, and all the other numbers speaks His glory, you know? Just like Dream. in Psalms it says, you know, the Lord, the, 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 the skies speak His glory. You see, the very existence of the skies speak His glory. glory. So, that is the one side. Now, on the other side, maybe you say to yourself, or maybe the doubting Thomases say to themselves, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Adonai. I don't believe in Eheye. I believe in nature. I believe in Zeus or some other false god. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try to prove that it's not God by going Aleph Bet Gimel. Mm -hmm. And how much is Aleph Bet Gimel? Aleph Bet Gimel, one, two, three, six. Voila. There you are. And everything after that, what do you think is going to be the sum? Six. Six. Ah. And what is six, 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 six? Is the in Jude in, in Christianity? Number of man. Six, six, six. Yes, is the is, is the, the number, number of, of the, the devil, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You see, so in Hebrew, we don't we don't see it the same way, but we have the six, 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 repeated again and again. And what's going to happen at the end? And this can only be understood by English-speaking people. What's going to happen at the end is you're going to be left with tough. 
<laughs> the last letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. You see? So that, again, is a lesson that can be taught in any language, you see, and demonstrated from the Hebrew. And anybody who knows Hebrew will tell you this is... Yeah. This is a fact. And we need to have these things in Bible college. You know, Bible college, Indeed. they have. It's, it's so but important. But you know why the problem, what the problem is? That they don't want to hire a Jew to teach them the Hebrew scriptures in Bible college. So we hire you. <laughs> <laughs> and we give that to all the people around. It's so important. Mm. We know that. It's like, it took a long time for us like to discover, we started our journey in 1997, mm -hmm. but, and now we are in 2012. So it took a long time to like, and done patterns and all, but like, it's like, guys, it's so important. And, and like, our faith is so strong now. And, and like, we understand God more. The connection between Christian and Jews is like amazing. Like we come like so, it's, it's a pleasure to work together and to discover more of who God is. And dear friends, well, we will carry on being in this adventure of discovering more things here in the land of Israel. We bless you from Jerusalem. And don't forget, we are living in the last days. You've been watching In The Last Days, a TV program with Martin and Natalie Blackham, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. If you would like to financially support the program or find out about conferences, meetings, or ministry products, then please contact us with the details on your screen. Visit our easy-to-use website at www.inthelastdays.com and register for our free e-newsletter Get the latest news from Israel, product information, online video teaching, or watch today's TV program at a time that's convenient to you. Thank you again, friends and partners, for making this program possible. See you in two weeks, same time, same station, for the next program from In The Last Days.